Hey guys, Johnny, we're starting the Reds. We picked up a little collection today. I'm gonna turn it on camera and show you. And then we're gonna do a little walking. So I'm gonna show you something cool. Here we go, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this around. This crate here had an Egyptian mummy sarcophagus inside. Not really, but we'll go over what that crate was all about here in a little bit. We have our helper Talia, our helper Miss Lisa, and we are gonna go through, as you can see, some cool toys. We have the Ghostbuster Firehouse here. What year did this come out, Lisa? Do you know? Eighty-seven, Maybe. probably yeah, roughly around there. So it's missing the sign. Um, it has all the stickers. It doesn't have the containment unit, but I do think there's a containment unit in here because we do have some more. It is windy out here, guys, and traffic is loud. So I apologize if you can't hear us. We do have an Ecto One here, and I believe that's complete, right? That didn't come with anything else. It's got the seatbelt. It's got the two guns. It's got the claw, the fins, the doors. Stickers peeling a little bit on that one, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Yeah, this door's got a sticker missing, but that's a pretty easy replacement piece for that sticker. And then we have, oh, wait. We do have a containment unit. This is the top of the bottom. That's the top one, right? The big one goes on the bottom. That's the top containment unit, I believe. Like the ghost would go in there, and then you pull it and you fall out. Yes. Yeah. So, this is cool. We have the Fright Feature Egon with a tie missing, like always, but he's still covered in the, the dried slime. At least you know it was played with. Exactly. That's that, the important well, that's the thing. Like these toys, like she was saying, I'm sorry they're so dirty. And I was like, you know what? I don't mind. These are, this showed this toy had a story. This toy had a life. This toy did its intended purpose uh, back in the 80s. And now it is going to have another purpose for another collector or another child that wants to play with it. So these things are super cool. Tali, Ghostbuster. You want it? All right. You play the Ghostbuster. And then we do have a bunch of the proton packs, it looks like. It looks like we have the pizza for, um, these are actually not broken, which is surprising. So those, those you have to be, shape. yeah, you have to be careful with those, because those things break all the time. Yeah. Lisa would know, she's our resident Ghostbuster. <laughs> so we have those, a couple of the ghosts in there. That does not go to Ghostbusters. What is this? That is G.I. Joe. I believe that goes to the Mean Dog. And I know this because I just put together a Mean Dog and it's complete in the box in the shop. So we do have the pizza thrower for the turtles. We have the original Slimer. Um, we have Winston. Fright feature uh, Peter Venkman. Ah! Did you see the deals you can get at Sarge Reds? Ah, they're so great! Ah! Another ghost, there's lots of them. Yay, yay, we got two of them. So, yeah, you can play with them, baby. All right, we got the Stay of Marshmallow Man. Tali and I have been watching Ghostbusters. I forget his name. I think he went to the helicopter. We got the original Egon. Yeah, Stay Puff. You know, what's this, the Fright? Is this, that's not Fright Feature. What's this one called? Uh, that is a Fright Feature. Just is there, were there two like different versions of him? I think so. I think they did two. There's that guy, so. They did as many as they could. We got another Slimer here. This one was like a slime. You push slime through him, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, they, Ghostbusters was one of those lines that was notorious for making like 50 of the same character, like Ninja Turtles. Not as bad as Ninja Turtles. But they were Playmates too, right? Or no, this is Kenner. This is Kenner. We got the werewolf when they did the monsters line. Oh, I remember having this one when I was a kid. I remember playing with this one. He's friends with them? Okay, fair enough. Hey, frenemies. We got Ray. He's kind of stuck. It might just be the slime. I don't know. We got to clean these up. And we do have the uh, fright beetle. I forget what it's called. The bug. What's that thing called? Oh my gosh, I'm the worst with it. Let's see. I break highway for I break for highway ghosts. Whoa, don't roll away. Like, what do you push? You push this. Yeah, so he pops up. Hunter, Highway Hunter, that's him. So yeah, he's actually in decent shape. Most of these I come in will have this broken. Or something inside will be broken. So that one's actually in nice shape. So until I until it rolls off my truck. We are on a very sloped parking lot. So right. now we got this. These have to be washed. So who remembers wrestling buddies? Oh yeah! Snap it to a slim gym. Yeah! So he's filthy, but these things actually, you could just wash these in the washing machine, you put them in a pillowcase, gentle cycle, um, and it should hopefully clean all those stains out. So we have three pillow buddies. Well, we're gonna put that one in there, baby. You're gonna help Miss Lisa, right? Yeah. And then we got Hulk Hogan, again, a little dirty, but again, a nice little clean in the washing machine. And then who is this? This one is, that's one of the Bushwhackers? No? Who is that? Who is this supposed to be? Lisa, any clue? WCW, I don't know. 
So he has like some electronics. So I don't know if you can wash this one or if this comes out and you can wash it. I'll have to do a little research on that guy because he's... And it looks like just surface stains. I mean, there's no... It's just from being played with some kids. All right, so now this is a Power Ranger. I am not sure what this thing is called, but I know it's a Power Ranger. It is big. And it's pretty cool looking. And it transforms into some kind of Zord. I am not a Power Ranger guy. Another one, I know that's the turtle villain Zord. Here's the mean dog. And, yep, that's the piece that's missing. I don't know, what is that? There was not a lot of G.I. Joe with this collection. It was just literally this tote here she had. Um, and these look like, bleh, probably going to be like a parts lot as far as those Joes go. Nothing too exciting in there. All right. I'm going to reach in. That goes with Slimer. But you can play with the pizza. All right, so here we got some more Ghostbusters. There's a Ghostbuster. Nice. Um, and then we'll probably go through all this later to make sure there's nothing else in here. We get these collections and just kind of just go through them and kind of get them sorted, consolidated, match up the pieces, get them on the shelf. So we got a lot of Power Rangers in here. Ah, my monster. I have no idea. That's Power Rangers because it's corny looking, I would assume. We got Lord Zed. We got a, uh, Venom, Hobgoblin. That's like a 12 inch G.I. Joe snake eyes. Looks like we got a lot of Power Rangers in here. So a bunch of random stuff in here, it looks like. Not just uh, Power Rangers, some McDonald's toys. In here. Yeah, let's get that some all. Get them all in one bin would be great. So we try to condense it in one or two bins just so we're not taking up a ton of space. So we got this big bin, we're swapping stuff over. Get a little Venom Spider Man thing there. I think there's a little nard. I don't even think it's an actual Joe. Okay. Tali is testing this. Make sure it works, Tali. So if someone wants to come by, it works, right? Okay. All right, so we got some more Power Rangers. Yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be a bunch of Power Rangers and stuff. Yep, weapons are in there. A couple Marvel Legends. That one there. Now, this is a bin of some Barbies and Midge, and the lady told me what they were. I don't know. There's a G.I. Joe uh, air vest in there. So, this is like a mix of stuff in here. And Shane, this is Shane's job. Shane is my go-to for Barbie clothes and dolls. Because, Lisa, do you know anything about Barbies? Those aren't all Barbies because they're different sizes, I think. I don't know. What is this? Yeah, so there's some Barbie and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. These I don't know if these are newer or older. This one looks older. Alright, is this an older one, Lisa? Oh my god, her head fell off. Thanks, baby. It looks like an older one. And unfortunately, I picked her up and her head fell off. So I don't know if it just pops back on or what. Probably not, but... So that means there might be some older clothes in there, I assume, right? You guys just watched me decapitate Barbie live. Yeah. Not live, but... I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that or, or figure it out, so... Yeah, all it is is it's a little, like, yeah. rubber um, gasket, basically. Like huh. a little ring. Yeah, so if that's and something that's repairable... Yeah. Let us know, guys, in the comments below, and then Lisa could be a surgeon. Like a surgeon! Hey, we gotta be doll doctors here. It's all good. Doll doctors. doctors. Alright, so we have this old Ken carrying case, 1962. Oh my goodness. Someone just bottomed out. Alright, so we got some G.I. Joe's. That is... That's a Sterling Archer doll. A what? <laughs> the show Archer. Oh, it's not like that. Really... It's not really, but it looks like it could be. So let's get some more G.I. Joe stuff in there. I know we had the new G.I. Joe, but I think some of this is going to be the vintage stuff again. That's fantastic. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, that's like Barbie. Okay. We're open. You're going to be on YouTube, Yosef. <laughs> so, got some Ken case with some clothes. Okay. All right. For a couple minutes, baby. See, Tali wants to stay outside of the toy shop all day long. Go get mommy. I don't know. She wants to come down and see some of these toys, I bet. Here, you want to play with this Ghostbuster? Yeah! No? I got a Ghostbuster. You sure? It's a wrestler. It's just a wrestler? 
Yeah. You're right. You're getting good at this. You're going to take over my job, aren't you? So we got a bunch of Hasbros in here. Um, and that thing. I don't know what that is. That Demolition, Brutus, or, uh, Ravishing Rick Brood, that Earthquake, that Undertaker, Bret Hart. So there's some good ones in here, guys. Macho Man. Hopefully there's some accessories in the bottom because the accessories on these things are always missing. Sword and Slaughter, Papa Shango. I think that's Papa Shango's necklace right down there, so that's good. So the more complete these are, obviously, the better. We'll go through all this. You got the Mountie, um, Tatanka. A little dirty. Nothing a little uh, soap and water wash won't fix. So those are cool. What's that, shoelaces? Yeah, I got some shoelaces in there, buddy. And looks like the wings for Ricky the Dragon. So there might be some more accessories in there. I'm not going to go through it all out here in the car. Oh, wait. We got to put these wrestlers back in with their friends, don't we, Talia? All right. Can you go look at some more toys? We got one more bin to look through, baby. Right? Oh, Beetlejuice. Who's he, Talia? Beetlejuice. How many times do you say his name? Beetlejuice. 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 Look, he got snakes in his head. He squeezes his legs together. Ah, ah, is he scary? Yeah. No, he's not. He's not scary. So we got some Beetlejuice figures in here. We've got the vehicle. That's cool. So we got a got a good little chunk of them in there. Got the car, which is cool. We got the shish kebab skewer there. This still has all the snakes attached. We got the scary mask. So that's a neat little haul. So anyways, guys, not a huge collection, but it's not a small collection. So this is pretty cool. So we're going to go inside. I'll show you what's what came in this box. And I think we're about done with the shop as far as organizing, rearranging, and et cetera, et cetera. Talia, is this the funnest toy you've ever played with? Oh, you got to tell everybody. Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Egon or Stay Puff? Stay Puff? He's pretty fluffy, isn't he? Yeah. All right. We gonna go inside and show everybody what we got done? Yeah. All right, we're gonna show you inside, guys. Inside. Yep, you can bring those to the side. So, guys, I found this um, vagrant outside of the shop. You might recognize her. I do kind of look like a vagrant today. And she did. Like, so, if you saw, we had that big, like, like a big sarcophagus, sarcophagus-looking thing. And if you're local and you want pallets, I have like four of them that need yes, to go. They're still here. So, and Denise, can you show us what happens when you lift a pallet? And you don't pay attention. And you're not paying attention. Going? She got herself with a rusty nail. And I'm not, like, saying it's rusty nail. I literally just was Google looking up on my health chart to see if I have my tetanus shot. And thank God she did. <laughs> so, don't call you princess. We'll don't call you call hurricane. Yeah, there we go. So, you want to give us the tour of the new uh, layout? We haven't done one in a little bit. Okay. So, we just showed everybody all the toys that were out there from the, like, these bins and the Ghostbuster stuff that Tali has been playing with. And she wants us to keep here so she can play with. Have we talked about the pinball machine? I don't think we have. So, this is from the 80s house. You guys might have seen it. Welcome back, Cotter, and uh, with the Sweat Hogs here. It does work. Um, I think it needs a new spring because the mechanism for the scoring, unless it just didn't work really well back in the day, um, I, I think the spring's a little little floppy, a little soggy. So that is not... A spring can be... Flo She's giving me a look, guys. <laughs> a what? It's a soggy spring? That's a bummer. Well, floppy and soggy, yes. It's a bummer. <laughs> so we got that. Um, what else is new? We, I think we oh, already showed them. This we'll show what's new over here. All Come right, here. so Denise is going to give us a tour. Come here. Look at this beautiful counter. So, and are you thirsty? Look at it. What do we have? To murder your thirst? Well, this is a commercial for Liquid Death. Would you, if your thirst is killing you, you can murder it with Liquid Death. They're pretty good, right? Like, I've been drinking this sparkling one. It looks like beer. Like, people come in in the morning, I'm drinking one of these. If you guys come in the shop and it looks like I'm drinking from a tall boy, it's going to be... Typically, <laughs> <laughs> typically it's just going to be a liquid death. Time of day. Yeah, it depends on, it depends on what morning it is. <laughs> but, uh, so we're going to put all our blind bags down here. We have some other stuff that we're going to put on these shelves. And, are we uh, we, getting some retro candy still? I think we are. I think we're going to get some, like, retro-style candies. Um, we'll probably put something else other than just liquid death in there, too. Um... So yeah, but this counter, actually, we were able to get the counter and then move over one display case, because if you remember, we had two display cases here. You couldn't really see in the one because the register was on half of it, so we figured we'd do this. There's a little, like, shelving on the other side for us to put some bags on so we can clean up our mess back there. But we moved this here. We got room for collections! We got room for collections! Woo! <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we closed this off. Because we had, what, three feet maybe there? Yeah. Of, like, unusable space. Yeah, that's about all it was. So we got a bunch more of these fear fresheners, guys, from a... Uh, Trick or Treat Studios, but these things are awesome. So if you want to get a little bit of a force in your car, yeah, fresh in your car with a, some horror, that's the way to go. 
Now we showed all the display cases. What are we gonna put Nobody's here? Nobody's super interested in that except for us that are running a business. Don't you think? Yeah, no. People actually, a lot of people have come in and compliment actually this countertop oh, already. Wow. I mean, it's sturdy. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. The only beautiful thing in this building right now is right here. This beautiful, beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right here. I knew it. I knew this it. is. I knew it. What's that oh. song? My lady. We've got ideas. Speaking of beautiful things, we've got ideas for one. Two, three, four new t-shirts. Yes. Oh, did we ever announce Ethan Page on YouTube yet? On YouTube? Um, I don't think we did. That's a great question. I'm really not sure. Well, Sorry. let's do it now. Ethan Page, AEW. All ego, Ethan All Page. All ego. Ethan Page from AEW is going to be here in the shop on August 28th. That's a Sunday. Yep. We don't have the times down, Probably Pat, yet. Probably afternoon-ish. Very excited. If you guys follow him and you're plugged into that scene, he does... <laughs> he does um, toy a toy hunt. Yeah. yeah, he has a toy vlog. He's super into toys. He usually has a crew and he, he checks out new toy stores. So he doesn't look at anything. He won't probably even see this. Yeah. Um, we offered to have him like check it out. And he's like, nope, nope. Want to have a brand new, authentic first look. So he'll be here checking out our shop, going through our stuff, and signing. And then he's also going to be signing and meeting fans and everything as well. It's going to be fun. Super excited. We're trying to do a lot of events, guys, because we want this to be more of a meeting, not a meeting place, community. but more like a community based. Like, it's fun. Like, there's nothing more I love than, like, literally Denise and I being down here talking to you guys when you come in the shop. I mean, it's, it's that's what this is about. Yes, we need to make money, obviously, so come buy stuff. But. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to pick up something. <laughs> if you want to pick something up, you know. Um, but to add to what you're just saying, though, if somebody's got an idea or a request or something for an event they think that we should host or have or something. We're all ears. Like, that's honestly how Ethan Page came about. Because yeah. somebody said, here's a really great idea. And enough of the Sergeant Red's army put a bug in his ear. And he was like, well, I need to find out who these yeah, Sergeant right. Red's people are. <laughs> so you guys are helping us out, doing a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys can't see me giving you a thumbs up behind yes. the camera. <laughs> I'm over here giving thumbs up. These look at me like I'm nuts. So let's show these little uh, Stranger Things normal. guys. What do you think? Yeah, the uh, nesting dolls. These just came in. So we have the Stranger Things nesting dolls. These are actually wood nesting dolls. You got Hopper, Eleven, Dustin. They're six increasingly de delightful. They're so delightful. But yeah, Hopper, we have those. Eleven, Dustin, Mike, Lucas, and Will. And no, I didn't look at the list of them. Liar! <laughs> and these are thirty bucks for the set. So those are pretty cool. They come from Handmade by Robots. Yeah, they came from Handmade by Robots, but they don't look like Handmade by Robots because you know they got that knit look. And we do have these in, I think. Mystery Machine Robocop just dropped. We got a message from uh, Jenny, right? And then okay. there's some other ones. Did we order the Adams Family ones? I think we did because Uncle Fester has a glow-in-the-dark light bulb. I got a lot. So, sure. the blind bags are here, guys. No more. What are we going to put there? Oh, my God. Yeah, so. <gasps> Who should we talk about? Kyle? Yes, because I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Kyle. We should probably wait until we have some, like, solidified details. Okay, but we're going to partner and get some custom art. Yes. in the shop. Yeah. We're very excited it's about be that. Fun. And that would be a very good spot for that. Possible, possible good spot. Possible good spot. So that might go there, or I was thinking like we have a bunch of like... Loose... Or you've already picked something else. No, I'm just thinking... <laughs> that, well, that's not going to fill that all up. That's all. Because it's all this. The squish fill is going to move. Gotcha. We did get new metal signs. We got a restock of our Obey, our Haddonfield, and uh, the good guy sign. So take us on our tour, you lovely bleeding oh. Denise. <laughs> Um, that's okay for those of you who, like skip forward. She cut her leg on a rusty nail. That's why I'm saying that. So we do all oh, the life sizes. Oh yeah. Have Which they, have they not made it on YouTube? Yet? No, I haven't done a YouTube video in a bit. Oh dude. Okay, so it's time to raise some hell, and we got some really creepy, creepy so, dolls. So these are one one scale child's play dolls. So we have all three from the uh, seat of Chucky. These are Trick or Treat Studios. Let me zoom in here um, on that. So we got Tiffany. And then you got the, just the good guys doll. That's not from Seed. That's just from regular. If and, anybody thought that this place was haunted before, we yeah. are tempting the fate. Exactly. We have, uh, oh yeah, not just with Chucky and Glenn there and uh, Tiffany. Wait, come look at this. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk around yeah, all the way. And we did move the one showcase down here, so it does go a little bit farther than it did before. We're going to have to work on something here. It's fine. This is a life-size, one-one size. scale prop Annabelle doll. That thing she is... She doesn't look like she comes alive when we leave. Oh, she does. <laughs> it says, do not open. 100%, I will not be opening that. You guys can take it home. Denise, what do you think? I don't want to take it home. Oh, Somebody, should they take it home? Please come take her home. Please take her home. She's hiding the barge. I know. I got to find somewhere to put her. Yeah. Just came in. We did get a shipment in today from our buddy uh, FedEx Matt and also a UPS 
Bill. I don't know his name, so he's Bill. Looks like a Bill. So we got some NECA stuff here. It is um, Texas Chainsaw, Nightmare on Elm Street. Shout out to FedEx Matt, though. He's a rad dude. He is. I was talking to him today for a bit. He's a cool guy. Like oh, we did finally get our Alley Vipers and Bats in. Finally. Oh, so I'm going to say this, because this isn't quite a segue, but it's related to something that you did to me earlier today. Speaking <gasps> of... <laughs> I wish you could see your face. I'll show him. Hold on. It's like this. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled program. I don't program. know what I look like. I apologize. You're beautiful. All right, guys. Um, thumbs up this video if you think Denise is beautiful. Oh, my God, please. Boom. Hey, if you can't embarrass your wife, what's the point of having one? Speaking of embarrassing your wife, talking about FedEx Matt, okay? So my, my request to the Sergeant Red's Army is going to be like, show your colors when you come in the shop. Don't be shy because you might end up the um, fan fiction subject matter of yes. something i'm working on <laughs> so if you guys don't know denise is and i know she's getting mad because I, I brought this don't, up don't, don't, don't. denise is a very good author she is an aspiring author i have read some of the stuff she's jotted down like some of the stuff like if you guys read some of the posts she's put out she is awesome like she writes like like just like she's got a way with words she's a wordsmith if i had to say if i had to describe okay, denise enough. a wordsmith look at how she's turning yeah. the same color as her hair yeah all right. See, she really loves me, guys. She really loves me. All right. So, what else we got to show before we we cut? My and run? point was, I wanted people to like bring your yeah, be yourself. You know, that's the thing. That's, that's what this place is about. Like, we love. We have a tiny, tiny pickles. I don't know where he came from, and he's sitting right there. He's tiny. He's itty bitty. I don't know where he came from. I think people are coming and leaving toys in our store. <laughs> um. Yeah, we move stuff around. I don't know. Like this is a plant or something. Oh, like um, that. I think it's people, obvious plant. Obvious plant. Do people put them in like Goodwill and stuff like that? Like I that? don't know How where they, they put them. There? I think they just put them in. He puts them in stores, I think, and then he posts on his page if you want to go get it, they're here, so people can get them. I, I can't wait till one shows up. Here. That would be awesome. I think he's in like California though. I don't know if he comes here. That'd be awesome though. So yeah, I don't know. There's much more. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of new stuff that came in the shop, but I don't know what. Uh, we got a lot of Funkos guys. We just bought a big collection of it. She's checking out her bleeding leg. I mean, I should probably go uh, take you to the emergency room. Okay. It's not that deep. It's not, it's probably already I'm stopped. Fine, later. I'm fine. <laughs> so, anyways, guys. All right. So we're wandering. We're wandering. This came in. We got this awesome Kenner's alien. Now you might be saying, "You showed me that Kenner's alien. It had a broken arm." Well, another one came in that was in really nice shape with a busted up box. So we were able to flip flop those if guys you're around. Keeping track. If you're keeping track of what's going on. Everyone's keeping track. We got a creepy Furby. Furby's behind glass. Lots of purpose. new stuff in here. This is kind of like just like this miscellaneous kind of neat vintage or modern cool stuff. Cool like, stuff. got Laverne and Shirley. That's from the 80s house. We just put that in there today, the $6 Can million dollar man. The We're going to do it. Something, 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 something. <laughs> something, 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 something. Hey, right we're so gonna so make so our so dreams so come so true. Wait, doing it our way. Oh God, I, I apologize for those of you who are left uh, after watching that. You are truly fans of Sergeant Reds. That was good. You know, what I mean? I'm surprised I pulled that song out I, of my. I'm yeah, impressed. I didn't think that was gonna happen. You didn't think that was gonna happen? Hey, I'm built to impress. Okay, that came out dirtier than it's supposed to be, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I know, I'm married to you. What? Okay, this is, uh, all right. I'm going to edit that out. I think I have a conference call. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> it's a 8.30 yeah. night. I'm 9 o'clock. I get a conference call. Oh, so yeah, we finally, yeah. like I said, got the bats, alley by a person, gung-ho in. We got some cool predator stuff uh, just in from NECA. I think that's about it. I mean, there's other new stuff, I'm sure, but uh, it's getting late. We're going to take the kids home. I'm going to take the missus home, and uh, we're going to tend to her wound. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you at the, the shop. shop. <laughs> I got a smooch on TV. <laughs>